the next chapter we are going to see is chapter 3 that is coastal erosion coastal areas are given crucial importance in the recent years due to the increasing human population and accelerated developmental activities which is happening near the coasts the developmental activities have put tremendous pressure on the fragile coastal environment and about 20% of the indian population resides in the coastal area many thickly populated and industrialized cities like mumbai chennai kolkata kochi visakhapatnam are located along or near the coastal regions some of the general problems along the indian coast which require engineering interventions include silting up of entrance channels closing the river mouths flooding during the storm surge sandbar formation near mouths of inlets rivers and estuaries and erosion of the coast while all the problems need to be addressed coastal erosion is a major concern now let us understand what is coastal erosion coastal erosion is wearing away and redistributing of solid elements of the shoreline as well as the sediment normally by such natural forces as waves tidal and littoral currents and deflation erosion occurs when the material being removed for deposition elsewhere exceeds the rate of supply finally resulting in the landward shifting of the shoreline the causes of erosion are either natural or man made sometimes it is a combination of both the coastal sediments together with those arising from inland erosion and transported seaward by rivers are redistributed along the coast providing material for dunes beaches marshes and reefs the removal of the sand from the sand sharing system results in permanent changes in beach shape and structure let us have a look at the history of coastal erosion in india Kerala is the worst affected state by coastal erosion in India an assessment made in the late 1980s indicated that almost 85% of Kerala's coastline is vulnerable to erosion even Karnataka and Maharashtra are also affected badly by sea erosion the problem in other states was found to be in patches or coastal pockets depending on various factors the first anti sea erosion measure in puducherry was initiated by the french in the early 1920s with a 1.75 km long retaining wall along the urban coastline in pondicherry the causes of coastal erosion the coastline keeps changing its shape and position continuously due to dynamic environmental conditions various developmental projects are made in the coastal areas placing great pressure on them and leading to various hazards like soil erosion seawater intrusion coral bleaching etc the causes of erosion are either natural or man made sometimes it is a combination of both while the former is a relentless process that is often impossible to resist the latter is often due to ill planned activities and can certainly be contained or even reversed the effects of climate change sea level rise and other long term causes of erosion are still unaccounted for natural causes the natural factors influencing coastal erosion are waves winds tides n- storms near shore currents sea level rise etc the combined action of different processes on the coastline like waves and tides maintains the stability of the shoreline if for any reason 
the sediment supply to a section of beach is reduced due to littoral drift or sea level rise or constant impact of waves it can cause severe erosion sea level rise is another major factor for coastal erosion catastrophic events like severe storms tidal surges cyclones cause the sea level rise and cause severe erosion coastal erosion by waves waves are the main cause of coastal erosion waves bring an enormous amount of energy to the coast that is dissipated through wave breaking generation of currents water level changes and movement of sediments turbulence and heat waves are the major factor in determining the geometry and composition of the beaches the action of waves dictates the processes of removal and addition of material or sediment on the coast the two processes of accretion and erosion play a major role in defining the coastal geography the shoreline changes induced by coastal erosion and accretion are natural processes that take place over a range of time scales with respect to the temporal scale these processes may occur in response to both small scale events such as storms regular wave action tides and winds large scale events such as glaciation or orogenic cycles tectonic activities that cause the land subsidence or emergence man induced erosion most of the human induced erosions is due to human interventions in the natural transportation process as well as in the sediment load of the rivers human activity may be enumerated as coastal defense structures river regulation works dredging aggregate extraction or sand mining oil or gas exploration and ports or harbors that impact the sediment transport the coastal activities can also directly or indirectly result in beach erosion for example construction of buildings via land reclamation or within sand dune areas as a long term impact on the coastal processes and sediment stability breakwaters which obstruct the long shore transport of sand and cause accretion on the updrift side and erosion downdrift the mining of the sand or gravel along the beaches and in the surf zone will cause erosion by depleting the shore of its sediment resources the removal of dune vegetation and mangroves due to main interventions causes exposure of the low energy shorelines to increased energy and reduced sediment stability this further promotes the erosion of the coastal zone climate change has recently emerged as an important determinant in the coastal environment the rising atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide are causing the oceans to absorb more of the gas and become more acidic the rising acidity can have significant impacts on the coastal and marine ecosystems the low lying areas along the coast are likely to be prone to salinization due to sea water intrusion both surface and ground coastal protection measures the coastal protection measures moderate the long term average erosion rate of shoreline change from natural or man made causes 
reduced erosion means a wide buffer zone between the land and the sea protection of the coast line from erosion is provided by the nature in the form of a stable beach capable of dissipating incident wave energy nature's coastal protection is also demonstrated at the headlands reefs shores dunes etc protection works to prevent erosion should be on a long term basis and must be planned to suit the particular site conditions on the basis of thorough field investigation and available data which require observations over an extended period of time the measures to control erosion include non structural and structural or their combination many schemes have failed and resulted in environmental and socio economic problems owing to improper design construction and maintenance non structural measures the non structural measures aims at dissipation of the wave energy by mirroring the natural forces and maintaining the natural topography of the coast these measures are also called soft solutions some of these are artificial nourishment of the beaches coastal vegetation such as mangrove and palm plantation sand bypassing at the tidal inlets dune reconstruction or rehabilitation these measures have limitations while artificial nourishment of beaches is complicated and costly mangrove plantation is possible only in marshy land and in semi tropical or tropical conditions the structural measures the structural measures also known as the hard structural or engineering measures use physical structures constructed near the coast to prevent or restrict water from reaching the potential damage areas these solutions influence the coastal processes to stop or reduce the rate of coastal erosion the structural measures used for coastal erosion prevention include sea walls revetment offshore breakwaters groins or groins or spurs offshore reefs and artificial headland sea wall is a popular measure and is generally used in almost all maritime states in varying proportions the combination of both measures using a combination of structural and non structural measures helps in providing better efficacy and efficiency the combination gives synergistic outcomes and provides an environmentally and economically acceptable coastal protection system the hard solutions offer a wide variety of disadvantages like causing erosion and unnecessary accretion at various points being expensive and also at times spoiling the economic value of the site by making it look less beautiful soft solutions take time to be effective and these are effective only in a medium to long term perspective therefore a combination of both measures is preferred for optimal results for example combining beach nourishment with artificial headlands or groins revegetation with temporary offshore breakwaters or artificial reefs is commonly used the shoreline change atlas of indian coast coastal protection and development advisory committee cpdac recommended the need for the preparation of a coastal atlas showing information related to coastal erosion derived from satellite data and protection measures undertaken by all maritime states of india accordingly a project entitled shoreline changes atlas of the indian coast was initiated by the space application center of isro ahmedabad in collaboration with the central water commission the space application center 
along with Central Water Commission worked jointly to bring about a shoreline change at least from the time frame 1989-91 and 2004-2006 in 2014. The maps show eroding stable and accreting coast along with the status of coastal protection measures taken up by maritime states or UTs. Around 15% of the 7,549 km coastline has eroded, 14% of the coast has accreted and the remaining of the coast remains stable with respect to 2004 and 2006. The area under accretion is higher than the area under erosion with a net gain of 362 acres of land. The coast coastline or the shoreline along the eastern Indian peninsula is observed to be more dynamic and along the west coast the shoreline changes are more along the Kerala and Karnataka coasts.